Here in Scanch, Fundy Bay in northern Iceland, the summer sunlight and warmth brings a boom in ecological productivity, which attracts life from far and near together. From birds like terns and puffins, to stations like whales and dolphins, all kinds of marine life come great to feed. Humpbacks are a rather common species of cetaceans seen in these waters. They migrate from the warm, nutrient-poor waters in the equator in which they overwintered to the cold, nutrient-rich waters of the poles. Depending on the population, some humpbacks travel from the equator to the Antarctic, while others travel to the Arctic. Humpback whales can travel for up to 25,000 kilometers over the course of a year. Over the course of the winter, they raise their young in the warm equatorial waters. Mother humpbacks can lose over a third of their body weight during calving and nursing. They must raise their young in these warm waters so that their young can build strength and bubber to be able to migrate north to the polar waters and be able to survive in the cold. During the summer in these arctic waters, humpbacks feast on small animals like prone fish in order to build enough fat and energy reserves for the winter ahead. When they feed, shorebirds like tins and gulls can be seen following after them to try and catch any startling fish. Being baleen whales, they have plate-like teeth which help them filter water out of their mouths after catching a mouthful of fish and seawater. Around 15,000 humpbacks can be found spending their summers in Iceland's rich waters, which is about the population that existed in Iceland's waters prior to whaling. Iceland, Norway, and Japan are the three countries that are known to still practice whaling. Since whaling began en masse in Iceland around 1890, the populations in these waters have greatly decreased. For now, Iceland's whaling industry is only continuing targeting mink and fin whales.